is a guitar lesson about a song called Winter at the Shore. I'll play just a little bit of the song. Broken glass Along the path Behind the ice cream store Summer's gone play it the way I play it. I'm in this uh, sort of open G with a third in the bass tuning that I love so much. If you were to just tune the open strings, it would be B, G, D, G, B, D. There's a capo that has a hole in it that lets the bass string go through. I, I like to move that capo four frets up so that then that B in the bass b passes through the capo becomes an octave on that. So as you can see, I have two capos. This is only because uh, I could play it like this, um, but I need it to be more in my range, so I need to move the capo up. But then the bass string gets left behind, so it needs a capo just for the bass string. You wind up in the key of C. And um, I'll show you on the close-up view these chords. Um, there are uh, some simple changes on the A part and some harder changes on the B part. Come on, Pinky. <laughs> again. I start with uh, index finger five frets up from the capo on the bass string and on the pinky here. And the changes you're going to do are this fifth string is going to descend chromatically and the others change chord around it. So um, you can, with the right hand, you can keep hitting that open third string after each chord. So 
obviously these kind of changes are in lots and lots of songs like, you know, Saturday in the park, every day's the 4th of July. It's that, but it's a, I, I play it really slow and open and, uh, Those changes at the bottom, this is three strings I'm fretting. So you can follow that, um, the middle finger on the sixth string, one fret above the capo, pinky on the fifth string, two frets above the capo, and ring finger, one fret above the capo on the D string fourth string and then the, the last chord of this uh, first A part is three notes again fretted and then I just do a little sus here starts with a minor four chord. This is normally the four chord in this tuning. So I just drop that. Again, three strings fretted. Now this is This is a major chord built on the flat seven of the scale. Um, and the way I'm playing it, I'm fretting five strings. You don't have to. I'm fretting the third and the fifth string with my index finger in a little bar. So it's a ring finger, second string, six frets above the capo, pinky seven frets above the capo on the fourth string that index finger barring the third and the fifth and the middle finger sixth string now you don't have to do that bar you can actually just fret three strings and when you strum it don't strum all the way down you know just play those bottom three if you want and you saw me doing this nonsense. Don't. Just leave it. I just needed that bass note. I wanted that bass note to be there. But just play a straight bar, three frets above the capo, and it's got the same chord with the third in the bass, and it'll be fine. Whoops. Now this. What chord do you suppose that is? one chord? No. I don't know what it is. <laughs> and then this chord, which is kind of a major chord built on a sharp five of the scale. Um, so 
anytime I'm making a major chord in this tuning, it's, it's gonna look like that four chord I showed you, except when you do it here, the capo is fretting those two, the third string and the fifth string. So when you move it up, you have to do it like this. So. Now this is the hardest chord in the song, and I love to hear all these notes. It's impossible, don't do it. Just play this. Don't hurt yourself, don't get carpal tunnel and you know, like give up the guitar. <laughs> There's no reason to try and play all those notes, unless you really need your heart broken, in which case you may choose to feel the pain in your arm rather than in your soul. <laughs> and then you're back to the A part. And of course you get all the, the words to it on my website or, you know, listening to it on whatever device, uh, Spotify has it and all that. Winter at the Shore, the album version is just gorgeous. Uh, with Dan Phelps playing all those juicy guitar riffs. And, uh, uh, so I'm gonna run through the chords super slow on the B part. string, you just can't play the B string. That'll take you there, most of the way there. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's a, it's a lovely um, meditation on uh, sort of letting yourself grieve the things that we've lost. And uh, uh, you know, there's things about our world that won't be the same. So this might be a song that uh, would be good medicine. time for this song for me again. <laughs> um, this was a, a request. Somebody really needed to learn how to play this song, and uh, I can see why now, now that I come back to it. So, good luck with that. Don't play that whole five chord with the sus thing, with the pinky. That's just, that's gonna hurt. <laughs>
All right. See ya. And YouTube and. <clears throat>